Welcome back, Mr. Chang here. Today we're making Chinese beef curry. When it comes to making Chinese takeaway beef curry, selecting the cheapest cut is crucial in order to maximize profits. The Chinese takeaway cut of choice is topside, cheap, profitable, hard to chew. This is how they make it tender and juicy. Select beef with minimal connective tissue for the best tenderness. Have a look at the grain on this beef. These are the muscle fibers running through the meat. Use a fork like this to evenly slice your beef into the same sizes, cutting against the grain. This is how Chinese make beef tender and juicy. Add a quarter teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of sugar, Next, add a half teaspoon of black pepper, followed by a half teaspoon of baking soda. This will make the beef nice and tender. Use your hands and mix it all together until it starts feeling sticky. Next, you want to add in three tablespoons of water. The beef will absorb this water. And this will keep the beef juicy and it won't dry out in the heat of the wok. And look at that, the beef has already absorbed all the water. Now it's time to put an extra layer on top of the beef. Add an egg white to the beef and mix well. This extra layer will keep the beef moist and it will make the beef very sticky, which will help the corn flour stick to the beef you can add that next first make sure your beef is fully coated in egg white now it's time for the second layer add in one tablespoon of corn flour when the beef hits the wok the corn starts will protect the beef which will keep all the moisture locked inside for the final stage add two tablespoons of vegetable oil this will stop all the beef from clumping together when they hit the wok. Mix beef well. Cover and place in a fridge for at least one hour until it marinates and tenderizes. To a wok or pan, add enough oil to cover the bottom. Turn the heat to high. Place a chopstick in the oil. When you see bubbles, the temperature is right. Carefully add the beef to the wok. Evenly spread the beef out. When all the beef is in the wok, allow it to rest for 10 to 15 seconds. Stirring the beef too soon might cool the oil and mess up the coating. Just allow it to sit for 10 seconds. Then stir until the beef changes color. This will only take one minute. Now take the beef out and let it drain off the excess oil. The outside heat will finish cooking the inside of the beef perfectly. Now watch how tender and succulent this beef becomes when we add curry. To a hot wok, add diced onions. Add in half a cup of cold tap water. And now it's time to add in your magic Chinese takeaway curry cubes. A link for these curry cubes is appearing on your screen now. Break up your magic curry cubes. Simple to make authentic Chinese takeaway curry. Two curry cubes, one cup of water, no seasoning, bring to the boil. Magic curry cubes. Stir and break up your magic Chinese takeaway curry cubes. Slowly add in more cold water. Bring to the boil, allow to thicken. These magic curry cubes are so easy to use. Now it's time to add in your beef. Give your curry a quick stir. Look at that. Just exactly the same as Chinese takeaway curry in seconds. 
Add in some frozen peas. Give it a good stir. Real Chinese takeaway in a cube. Chinese takeaway curry cubes. Completely unbelievable.